Hey guys, um, this video covers uh, Daikin malfunction code U4. So if your aircon is blinking and after you retrieve the malfunction code, hopefully you have seen my previous video. So to retrieve it, you use the Daikin original remote controller and uh, execute it by pressing the temperature up down mode concurrently. Press and hold for a short while, not too long let go okay so you see the first DJ is blinking so then to retrieve it you see okay so once you hit the correct malfunction code it will return with a continuous beep so this is U4 error so uh, so now I'm gonna tell you uh, what exactly is U4 so as you can see from my website here uh, U4 stands for systems transmission between indoor units so this is weird huh? the way they phrase it but what it really means uh, I think the English is a bit problematic uh, okay this is the source that I got from Daikin what it really means is systems transmission let me correct this error between so between it has to be between something and something right indoor and outdoor printed circuit board units PCB units okay P C B units okay so this should be the correct malfunction code all right so I'm gonna update it okay so back to the uh, okay what is an U4 so what it means is that the uh, okay let me turn off the power first huh? okay the PCB which stands for printed circuit board is something like your motherboard okay of the computer uh, fails to communicate with the motherboard so the outdoor board has got an even bigger one because the indoor unit needs to tell the outdoor unit, okay, uh, I need X amount of refrigerant, send me the cooling. Uh, and when the room is uh, colder already, you say, okay, I need less. So this is how the inverter system works. It's, it's dynamic. So for a non-inverter, basically what it does is that when the room is not hot enough, uh, it sends the 230 volts to close the switch. The compressor will run and it will send you the full load of refrigerant but for inverter is different it's dynamic so on the go you say okay i need slightly less slightly more it's it's a variable so and uh if you look at the notes here okay you very say so this is the live wire neutral and this cable is used to as a data cable Okay, this is just the earth, earth wire. So actually you need four wires. But most I recommend actually they use three wires. Uh, and as a result, they use the earth wire to connect to here. But this, because I'm setting up for a demo, they actually use the, the neutral cable to transmit the, um, the uh, data between the indoor and outdoor unit. So today we are getting a U4 simply because the the data cable is not connected. There's no outdoor board. So definitely you will get a U4 malfunction. So the U4 malfunction, what it means is that if your cable is faulty, uh, you will also get a malfunction. So um, take for instance, if your aircon was installed somewhere between 2009, 2010, uh, the industry is flooded with a batch of really inferior quality uh, cable. So this cable is so problematic that after a while, right, it just disintegrates and refuses to pass signal. Uh, sometimes the, uh, the if it happened at the live or neutral, then totally no power supply. So if your time frame is around there, then it could be have a cable issue. The, the problem is that if it's like that, right, then all your aircon one after another, which is using the same batch of cable, will give you a lot of problems. So during that time, we, the whole industry has got huge problems. The lights everywhere starts giving 
all these uh, power failures. So, but uh, in recent years, uh, all these are no longer existence uh, because the market stops supplying such inferior quality cable. So, uh, okay, so if your cable is faulty for one reason or another, it can result in that. So, nowadays we have a uh, multi split unit. So, if all of your aircon actually, let's say if yours is a system for all four has the same blinking light, you retrieve malfunction code all showing you four. Then it is very unlikely that all the cable, even if it's a bad batch, right, for them to feel exactly at the same time. Okay, that's not likely. So, in an event like this, we know that it's the outdoor board. Okay, the outdoor board is, is faulty. And um, if it's only restricted to just one aircon, then it's usually the indoor PCB board. Or the cable that connects from this icon to the outdoor unit so uh, there's a couple of ways to further test it out but these are all quite expensive repair so a board like this uh, uh, from Daikin is gonna set you back easily the cost is about 250 if I'm not wrong so then plus labor charges things like that uh, it usually runs to close to about $500 for such repair so uh, these are nevertheless expensive repairs if if it's the outdoor board it's even more expensive because the cost of the board is uh, expensive so okay so basically this is the case uh, alright thanks for watching